a life without PMOing takes more effort than a life with PMO because there is many other options and much more things to do in a life without PMO. And whilst there's more benefits in that, some people stick to PMOing just because it's a stagnant thing. Like you just do a minimal amount of stuff. So with PMO, all right, all you really have to do is load up the site, start jacking it, and mentally interpret whatever the hell you want to interpret. With non-PMO, there's so much other things you could do. It takes more effort, not in the sense that you're resisting something, not that you're resisting urges and stuff like that. It means that handling normal life, dealing with normal life, and just living like cracking on like every other human being without PMO is more effortful than constantly just running to PMO and like doing this weird habit thing that you just fucking like just fucking run over to it and you do that for like a couple hours instead of just like living life normally for a couple hours think about okay think about it like the gym people who love the gym Going to the gym takes more effort than staying home. But people still go to the gym, even though it takes more effort. Why? They see more happiness in that option. And a lot of people sometimes, like with PMO, they kind of get stuck in that state of not really doing much. Meaning they're just so used to putting like less effort into life and they're just like happy where they are with PMO use. But what you have to do right there, right there is open your mind, just open your mind to this possibility. Like when you started the gym, you probably opened your mind to the possibility that you're going to like this thing. Like for me, when I started the gym, when I started working out, my mind was already open. Like, this is something I'm just going to do. Okay. This is something I'm going to get into. I'm going to keep doing it. And, you know, I skipped some days and stuff like that. Now, some weeks and all that when I was first getting into it. But, yeah, I fell in love with it. I love working out. Right now, I'm injured and it feels like, like, oh, I can't work out. I got to do something active. So I either, like, go on a walk or do some shit. Because I like putting in that effort. Now, you don't have to think of it in this way where it's like, okay, so no PMO means I put more effort into, um, you know, not... PMOing. No, it means like life itself involves more effort when it doesn't have PMO. And just like PMOing and all that, that lifestyle involves less effort. Now, the key thing here that will help you decide is benefits. Which one has more benefits and what are you losing? So when you PMO, you get the benefit of what? Like you placebo pleasure, placebo pleasure. That's like if you want to subjectively placebo pleasure on it. You, um, I can't really think of another benefit. You know, like you don't get to do, like you don't have to do what you're supposed to do. Meaning like if you PMO, you're, you don't have to deal with whatever task you're, you have to do. Um, yeah, that's about it. And with. A non-PMO lifestyle, the benefits are like, you know, just a lot of shit, energy, time, your penis feels normal, Um, you know, you feel better about yourself, you do the things that you actually want to do, and you feel like you're actually like meaningful, like you feel a little bit more like, finally, I'm actually doing some good shit for myself, and you're getting life going up up and running and you're like yeah this is pretty cool now what are you losing when you do pmo you lose those benefits of not pmoing and when you don't pmo you lose those benefits of subjective pleasure and uh, whatever like you not having to do the thing that you have to do now it's just a matter of choosing testing, running it, and opening your mind to being like, okay, this lifestyle does take more effort, all right? Just like itself, it takes more 
effort, not willpower or like any of that shit. It just means like it takes more. The lifestyle of not PMOing and just living life normally. This lifestyle doesn't take that much effort, but it does not have the benefits that I want. Same thing with the gym. The lifestyle where you don't go to the gym, that doesn't have the benefits that you want. So you don't choose that one. You choose the one that takes more effort and has the benefits that you want because there's greater happiness in it. This is kind of like with anything. For me, outside food, um, like fast food and all that. When it comes to choice of cooking something, eating something wonky, but it's homemade and natural, or eating outside food, I will always choose eat something wonky like like I don't give a shit about the outside food even though that takes less effort than making something at home like I'll like if I can't have uh like if we don't have something in the house that like I've cooked I'll be like okay so what can I see here okay I got eggs I got bagel I got um fucking toast and what else I got Greek yogurt I'm gonna make something with this bananas I'm gonna make something with that takes more effort but I see greater benefit in that I see benefits as in like health, you know, muscles, nutrition, joy. Like I, f I find joy, taste too. I like to taste more than outside food. And, you know, if I were to have outside food, just like out of record, like if I just somehow bought fucking McDonald's, I'd just be like, ah, uh, you know, like even my mental perception would F up the taste. And I don't see much benefits in that. Like, yeah, I get the food. It saves time. I get maybe taste your food but like i feel like my mental perception of outside food would affect that taste fast food taste you could get a lot but then i could also make a lot and it's like you weigh up these benefits and it's just like you choose which one you see greater benefits in and sometimes that option takes more effort but just because it takes more effort doesn't mean like it isn't worthwhile like when I started cooking and eating homemade stuff instead of outside food stuff, it took more effort and I had to open my mind to like, okay, yeah, I'm going to do this. But then I like, f I fell in love with it and I don't like outside food. I, I literally don't want it. Like I can make something better. Like I'll literally make better fries than any outside food place. And with like working out, it's like, yeah, the other lifestyle doesn't take as much effort but it doesn't have the benefits I want. And so I like slowly fell in love with working out, exercising, same with walks. I used to, I like slowly fell in love with walks because like walks have this benefit for me of like relieving stress, just active nature, sunlight. You know, it's a good time of day to like just get out of the house, walk around, be outside and not be inside the house. That's what I view it as and I like it. And then I choose that. Hopefully this video clears this stuff up. Helps. If it did, like, share, all that stuff. Help it get up with the algorithm. And yeah, if you got any questions, comment down below. Join the Discord. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Mwah.